Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physics to John Clark, University of California at Berkeley, USA, Michel Devore, Yale University and University of California at Santa Barbara, USA, and John Martinez, University of California at Santa Barbara, USA, for the discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunneling and energy quantization in an electric circuit. The Nobel Prize 2025 in Physics was awarded to John Clark, Michel Deveret, and John Martinez on Tuesday, October 7th. The three physicists were awarded the prestigious prize for the discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunneling and energy quantization in an electric circuit. In his first reaction after receiving the award, New Physics Laureate John Clark said our discovery is in some way the basis of quantum computing. He was surprised when he discovered he had been awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Physics. He said, uh, I, th I think that it had not, um, we, ha we had not realized in any way that this might be the basis of a Nobel Prize. This year's Nobel Prize in Physics recognizes experiments that demonstrated how quantum tunneling can be observed on a macroscopic scale, involving many particles. This is a theory of the microcosmos, that of atoms and electrons. And there is no advanced technology used today that does not rely on quantum mechanics and quantum physics. Examples are easy to find in the room, mobile phones, computers, cameras, and the fiber optic cables that connect our world. The Nobel Prize laureates in physics for 2025, John Clark, Michel H. Deveret and John M. Martinez, used a series of experiments to demonstrate that the bizarre properties of the quantum world can be made concrete in a system big enough to be held in the hand. John Clark, Michel Deveret and John Martinez, awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Physics, constructed an experiment using a superconducting electrical circuit. The chip that held this circuit was about a centimeter in size. Previously, tunneling and energy quantization had been studied in systems that had just a few particles. Here, these phenomena appeared in a quantum mechanical system with billions of Cooper pairs that filled the entire superconductor on the chip. In this way, the experiment took quantum mechanical effects from a microscopic scale to a macroscopic one. This year's Nobel laureates have shown experimentally in studies published in the mid-1980s that quantum mechanical effects are found in new vistas outside of the realm of the microcosmos, hence embracing macroscopic objects. Tunneling is a quantum mechanical process, which entails that chance plays a role. Some types of atomic nuclei have a tall, wide barrier, so it can take a long while for a piece of the nucleus to appear outside it, while other types decay more easily. Quantum mechanics describes properties that are significant on a scale that involves single particles. In quantum physics, these phenomena are called microscopic, even when they are much smaller than can be seen using an optical microscope. A single particle, however, will sometimes pass straight through an equivalent barrier in its microscopic world and appear on the other side. This quantum mechanical phenomenon is called tunneling. <laughs>